Here's a simple little sterling silver band I made. It only takes a few minutes to put together and polish uh, from scratch, but I'm going to use the laser to make an element that a lot, that I think I'll uh, then solder to this band and uh, make a very, very pretty ring out of it. In order to make a very pretty little uh, element that I'm going to solder onto that ring band, let's go ahead and I've placed a piece of, uh, it's about 16 gauge sterling silver, just a little tiny chunk of it. And I uh, went ahead and focused it, so it's about one and a half millimeters thick, which is about right. Um, and I'll take a picture of it just to make sure we're good. There you go, so there we see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and, well, let's see, rather than an image, I've already prepared a silver plumeria ring, so I know that this will work, uh, and it's pretty. So it's about an eight by 10. Ah, so I, what I have to do though is I have to re, be careful when you open up settings, then you have to re, recalibrate. So let's do the measurement again. Remember, it should be about one point. Yeah, so that's about 2.2. Let's refresh. Yep. So now I've got it there. Whoops, let's do that. I'm going to group these elements because what I've done is I've put a vector oval around my image. Let's go ahead and zoom in there a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay. So what I've got here is uh, an image of a plumeria flower that, that I had drawn and then used ArtyMind to make a, a grayscale depth map. Um, this is going to be about an eight, eight and a half, eight by ten, and that's that's going to be pretty pretty good. I think what I'll make let's make this a little smaller for uh, for that band. Okay, so that's going to be more like a seven by nine. And uh, that'll, that'll make a, a, a very pretty, very attractive uh, little ring band. So again, let me show you the settings on this one. Um, if I select the vector, that's the outline. You could turn that off if you don't want that to engrave, if you just want to use it for framing, uh, which, is, which is really handy if you're trying to get it positioned very precisely. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut this out anyway, so I'll just use it like this. I set this to score. Uh, with 100% power on the fiber and a speed of 2,000, but I'm going to do 10 passes. I just want to put a nice, a nice uh, definite line that I can use my saw uh, to follow. Okay, then if I were to select the bitmap, you'll see that I'm embossing it at 256 uh, layers, and that again is just the number of passes it's going to make. I'll do it at 100% power. With silver, you, you, you're going to want to uh, use a speed that's between 2,000 and 5,000. Um, it turns out that slower is not better with this. It, 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 won't, it won't vaporize the silver adequately. So you want to go a little faster than you might intuitively think. I like to use a high resolution on these. The engraving angle isn't that important for me. It's, the 15 degrees is just the, the amount of shift that the laser is going to take it with each pass. And I'm going to do a frequency of 30 because I want to be a little aggressive on the silver and I'm not going to descend at the z-axis because it's still not going to be that deep. Now this should take about oh five to seven minutes uh, to, 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 to do, okay? So first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and frame it. So this is what the framing is looking like. Okay, I'm going to stop framing. And I'm going to process it, and by processing, it'll tell me about how long it will take and the paths it will take. Yeah, about five minutes. So this takes a surprisingly uh, short time for these small jewelry scale designs. So this is going to emboss into that piece of silver. So we'll start it, and I'll hit the start button.
So that went ahead and engraved. Let's refresh the image. This will give us a sense. See, it's a little bit offset. Uh, this is why I like to be careful with the framing. Um, I've, I've, I just recently calibrated this, and it's not that uncommon for your framing to be off by a quarter of a millimeter or so, so you do have to be aware of that and prepared to, con uh, to compensate for it. So what I want to do though is I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick cleaning pass. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that image. Let's put a, oh we don't have to be very exact with this, we're just going to put an oval over the top of that. Um, I'm going to engrave with the IR. Let's go at about 50% power and we'll go 10,000 millimeters per second at a high resolution and I'd like to take the frequency to about 40 uh, just to, to make it a little less aggressive and we're going to go ahead and uh, process that and we'll do a quick cleaning. Okay. As you can see that that element is actually quite attractive for a little for a little piece. Um, I'll be polishing it up after I put it on the on the ring band. Uh, but our next step is going to be just to use the saw and cut that out. There we have it, ready to go on to the band. Well, the first step, I'm going to put a little bit of solder. This is going to be uh, medium silver solder, sort of right in the middle of that uh, little oval. So that's what's going to be used to hold it onto the ring band. And uh, so to do that, we'll just heat this up. Make sure that the flux is good on there, and then we'll place that just where we want it. And there we go. We have a little, a little dollop of silver that's right in the center there. Something that can be very useful for these types of operations are uh, strips of titanium that you form into like little little clips or clamps. You can purchase titanium and then cut these to shape yourself or whatever. Anyway, that holds the, the piece exactly where you want it. And what's gonna happen is when that silver solder melts, you'll actually see it sink down into the piece. And if I've done it correctly, it will be positioned just right. Saw it sink. So then, what we'll do? Yeah, that's pretty good. Just cool that whole thing off in some water. Take the clamp off and take a look at what we've got. It looks really quite nice. So what I'm going to do is put this in the in the acid to take off some of the uh, oxidation, and then we'll polish it, oxidize it, and it will be a very attractive little ring band.
when I combined the laser with traditional silver uh, smithing techniques and fabrication, it really does a wonderful job of allowing me to expand the creativity in the studio.